This is a quick video to show you how to make thumbnails for public safety and disaster response apps in ArcGIS Online. So here you'll see I have a situational awareness viewer. It's a web app builder application. And uh, the thumbnail I currently have for it isn't very useful and doesn't look great in a gallery. This is going to make it hard for people to figure out what, what app is which. So one of the things I'd like to do here is uh, create a thumbnail that's just going to give people an idea of what they're getting into. So if I come back here to my app, um, or actually we can go to the item property page, you can see for thumbnails, the new standard is they're looking for something at 600 by 400. So when I create my screenshot, I'm going to want to make it something proportional. I use a, an app called uh, Window Resizer. It's just a Chrome extension. And I'll set this to 1200 by 800 so it's proportional to that uh, that dimension they're looking for and I'll make sure it's my viewport and then I'll use a snipping tool I just use the default uh, Windows one roughly grab the viewport size and I'll save this image and I like to keep uh, a little folder called thumbnails in case I need something quick next time and I'll just call this SA viewer a little pound and now when I go to my item property page to edit my thumbnail I can just go right back to that folder and grab a thumbnail and this tends to look a little bit like the app that they're actually going to be looking at which I find is helpful if you want you can zoom in to give them a better idea and that's how I deal with app thumbnails, uh, just because it's quick and easy. I can go back and clean this up later. Uh, another thing I like to do is for layers, because um, I might have many layers in my map, but I need to share these and I want them to be understandable. Um, I've been using the NAPSIG standard symbology symbols for this. So I'll just show you an example here. This is coming from the NAPSIG uh, resources page. And I'm going to download this as a PNG. I'll put it in that same folder just so it's there next time I need it. And I'll use this for my evacuation layer. So if I come back here and I want to change my thumbnail, it's right there. And I can zoom out. And in the NAPSIG Symbology Library, um, you can go shopping for all sorts of symbols related to public safety, um, even things like road closures. If you need them, they're right there. So it's just a quick overview of how I create uh, public safety thumbnails for uh, apps and layers. For web maps, I generally just accept the default. But you can see here that gives the user a better idea of what they're getting into and uh, is fast. All right, thanks a lot.